in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit you lying down and I was sleeping I was so tired just returned from a trip and I had someone physically entered the room I couldn't wake up I thought it was a vision and the only thing I know was the person held my head just hugged my head I said no it can't be a thief this is not an arm robber it's not a vision and that was the end of it just held my head like tapping someone tapping a child and that was the end of it. You see, those of you, especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time, you'll be wondering, what is, what is going on here? Brothers and sisters, whether we believe it or not, there is a move of the Spirit that is sweeping across the earth. You can exempt yourself. It doesn't mean that God will not do it. There are people who started with God, but they've left these things since. Because it was not the whole idea was just to use God and get ministry others it was just to make them successful so they started with God others they were inheriting ministry from their parents I thought about my life truly speaking when dr. Billy Graham went to be with the Lord and I said one day our children's children if Christ tarries, will be the ones talking about us when we are gone. Come and make my heart your home. Come and be everything I am, all I know. Sing it from the depth of your heart. Search me through and through till my heart becomes a home. Sing it one more time. Come and make my heart.
till my heart becomes a home for you. Till my heart becomes a home for you. Till my heart. Part one more time. Yes, I will lay down my idols, the thrones I have made, everything that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will confess that you are everything. Please don't mind our pride. We act as though we can do without you. The truth is we cannot do without you. Whether we admit it or not, it is the truth. For no man, no man can do anything against the truth but for the truth. Lord Jesus, tonight, we thank you for the things you are about to do. But Lord, our focus tonight first and foremost is our hearts. There are people, thousands of people scattered across this arena and several others following from different nations of the world. Lord, please take our hearts. Please take our hearts. We are wasting our time if we do not hand our hearts over to you. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. What can wash
Hallelujah. Now, I want to make an altar call. Gone are the days where people just cajole people. You know, when people come like this, I know many of you have heard of the miracles. Many of you will experience it. God wants us to experience it. But let me tell you this. I have noticed that most of those who live long are not miracle workers. In fact, most healing evangelists did not cross 80. Yes, it's true. Those who really, really enjoyed the grace for longevity are people who were interested in the souls of people. Hallelujah. Now, nothing wrong with miracles. We're going to be experiencing the hand of God shortly. But it came strong upon I've been concerned about the fact that there are people who are really going to hell. It's not a lie. It's true. Whether you believe it or not, it's not the issue. I can argue that there's no oxygen in the air. It does not stop it. There are some of you looking at me right now. The overflow, the truth of the matter is that at your current state without missing words it is true that it is not heaven you are going to the goal is not to scare you this is not the issue of scaring it is the truth there's nothing to scare you about it is true and books were opened and another book was opened which was the book of life listen carefully whosoever's name it's on earth yet that we celebrate people, Apostle Joshua Selman, whosoever's name was not found. He was not asked why his name was not there. If your name was not there, that's the end of it. Are we together? Listen, look, this is a very serious, serious issue. There has to come a time in a man's life when you break your pride. And say Jesus I need you I don't care whether you have been a preacher for donkey years I'm not asking you how many sick bodies you killed I'm not asking you what name your members call you are we together there are people outside overflow one two three the truth is there are people who need Jesus Christ and a day is going to come whether we like it or not that day the very judge of the earth is coming it's coming if he said it in his word then it is true mm. come out and be serious with god be serious with god it's amazing how people come out for altar call they come out for altar call and you see them playing around and you know they are not serious i'm not saying you must cry but there is an attitude of seriousness you don't play games with god are we together I want you to run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain because there really is. One. Two. Apostle, I'm ready to break my pride and humble myself. It's not a call to condemnation. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, make your way. I've cried for my own life. My own life as a man of God. I've cried and rolled in the presence of God, crying for my own life. So don't, don't think that this is just some showmanship. Three, make your way. It's not by force. It's not compulsory. You can choose to sit down. But you can choose to say, let tonight be that night. Lord, you have to win this war over my life. Four. The Holy Spirit is still speaking to people. You may have money. You may have anointing. You may have cars. But let me tell you this. The Bible says if your hope is only in this life, you are of all men, of all politicians, of all businessmen, of all men of God miserable. There has to be a cry from your heart. Lord, I need you is a sign of humility. Is there someone still joining them? Very quickly, I want to pray. Your coming to Jesus means I am ready to close the door to all the friends and personalities in my life that are not ready to head my direction. 
your coming to Jesus is a revelation that Lord I am ready to be serious with you it's not just you are coming as a preamble to receiving a miracle and then you run back no in plenty and in none leaving you is no longer an option in my life hallelujah I want to lead you some of you are crying let me tell you this if you have any loved one who is not saved I hope their names and your prayer request because I know that some of us if I ask you what is on your prayer request now the only thing is wife husband promotion and and there's nothing wrong with that but let me tell you this is is funny but from heaven you will still see your loved ones in hell you will know they are the ones it's not that you are going to look at them and say i don't know i don't it's a lie you will know that this one is my mother this one now you can't do anything about those who have gone but there are people now you know in your neighborhood around your life it is the lord's desire that all men be saved please if you are a pastor here take the issue of soul winning seriously be careful all these things we learn around in the name of mentorship i believe in me be careful many people are veering off there is some there is a path that brings power and grace at the end of your life you don't want to be a wise master builder be, be careful the flamboyant does not necessarily mean god is there be careful especially for some of us who are younger ministers we must be wise you don't just swallow everything hook line and sinker just because it is being done no sir no sir no sir no sir there are churches where an altar call is not made for more than two years then one day they organize one hilarious pretentious revival and then just draw one or two people it's a joke it's a joke more than healing more than miracles more than getting a job more than all of this is the eternal destiny of men i am interested in knowing that i'm not praying for someone going to hell it's a waste i'm interested in knowing that i'm not teaching someone a principle to prosper when he's already gone to hell it's a waste I will teach you about the finances and the kingdom life when we know that your eternal destiny is secure. Those of us who are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, just one prayer before I pray for them. Lord, make me serious with you. Make me serious with you. Please pray. It's a very serious prayer. There are some of us, you are not going to hell. But the truth of the matter is you are not serious with God. No. Mm -mm. There's nothing about God that, that can steal your passion. It's not priority. You see people function in the house of God and you say, oh, these ones is because they are called into ministry. There's no such thing as that. It's your hunger. Especially for some of us sisters, we have to pray. Lord, make me serious with you. I don't care how many men like you. I don't care what they have told you. If you are not serious with God, your life is in shambles. It's true. Lord, make me serious with you. Let nothing else sustain the ability to take your place in my life. That's a very good prayer. Hallelujah. Come live in me Oh my Lord Take hold Come live in me and I will rise. Hallelujah. You are 
parent here, yeah, when your children get to the age of discretion, the moment they can think and they can understand, lead them to Jesus consciously. It is very responsible. Lead them to Jesus. If you have not done so as you go back home, don't just say, my children are smart. Call them. Preach the gospel to them. The moment they, are, they can think, they should be born again. Please, be, take, let nobody stay in your roof. You have a neighbor that is squatting with you. He's not serious. It doesn't matter. No, it does. No, it does. No, it does. They can choose to reject Jesus. That's all right. No one goes to hell because he's a sinner. Everybody goes to hell because he rejected Jesus. That is the sin that takes men to hell. I rejected him. I had a choice, but I rejected him. Jesus, carry your load and walk out of my life. Those of you in front here, I truly appreciate you. Whatever you have in this life, if Jesus is not above, it is useless. Let me just tell you the truth. I want to lead you in an honest prayer. I know some of you are crying. Overflow. One, two, three. Those online, please listen. I'm not asking you whether you're a business mogul. I'm not asking you whether you have how many degrees. All those things are useless when you are no longer here. I'm going to lead you in an honest prayer. And I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Listen to what you are saying. And pray it loud. Are you ready now? Say after me with all your heart, passionately, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. This night, I make up my mind and I make a commitment to serve you and to live for you from today till eternity I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life I declare that my sins are forgiven I declare that the life of God eternal life is mine today Holy Spirit I receive you as the life of God in my spirit I declare that I'm a child of God forever. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for these ones. They have unashamedly come. The Bible says that if you are ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. Jesus speaking. Lord, these ones have come opening their hearts genuinely to receive of your grace. I ask you, oh God, you who is the helper of us all, help them. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the righteousness of God is at work in you. The grace to live a victorious Christian life. The grace for passion and intimacy with God is released upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, every pain and every legal access the devil has over your life is hereby broken forever in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate every one of you now listen i know that some of you are rededicating your life to christ there are a number of you those in here i just want you to walk out this way and then the various overflows i know that there are people attending to them they will have your details i praise you very quickly and you return back to join us in the service i salute you thank you so much for your courage your life will never be the same god bless you Please direct them. Make sure someone is directing them. Make sure someone is directing them. Hallelujah. Amen. Please sit down. Hallelujah. There are two ministries that I believe will be reignited in a fresh dimension two very great anointings i really believe with all my heart and and it's been confirmed from different people seasoned veterans of the gospel 
across the earth number one is the healing ministry i believe that the church has lost a major dimension of the healing ministry it's true even some of us that supposedly walk in it the truth is that most people have not experienced the full import of the healing ministry the healing ministry i'm going to be showing you a few things and then we'll pray we'll get to the business of the night the healing ministry is very important it played a major role the challenge was that most of the healing evangelists got to a point where they were carried away by the healing and no longer christ and his purposes because the healing ministry is a means is a sign that points men to jesus it's possible that because of the charismatism around the healing ministry you can veer off and your whole focus becomes the miraculous and not the Christ himself the second ministry that I believe will be experienced is the ministry of wealth and abundance It's true this wealth transfer that you've heard people say I believe that God has suspended that dimension for a reason because as a body we are not yet ready for that dimension the our perspectives about kingdom wealth and finance does not warrant God releasing that level of blessings because for many of us our hearts are still corrupt over the idea of money are we together the average person's idea about money is just some kind of um, it's just a, a quest to get and buy nice clothes and nice cars and prove that I am successful there is a place for that but if that is the scope of your idea then you do not need any wealth transfer are we together yes so God must first walk upon our hearts is the same way years ago there was a very strange manifestation of a lot of things that happen in Zaria angelic feathers gold dust silver dust you know people started having these strange encounters and one I remember one night the Lord told me he said I'm withdrawing this experience because it's leading to idolatry it didn't reach one month and that experience was withdrawn people will go to pray and for hours all they are doing is checking their hands to see if there's any gold or silver to use it as an evidence to validate spirituality and God said no if I don't take it away one demon will give it an innocent prayer warrior a feather and he will carry it and idolize it in his room until he begins to mislead another group of people and so God withdrew that experience God only releases experiences to people and territories where there is a level of maturity and discernment he knows that when this reality reaches the people they will not abuse it until now as i speak to you there are people who don't understand the purpose of money and it is being abused and so god will not release it until the body is taught the money is safer with bill gates is safer with all of these people than it is with preachers and pastors because they have worked on their minds they are better treasurers for god than us so all it is true that there is a wealth transfer coming but not not some money monger kind of thing it won't come that way anyway i just thought to share that let's look at the ministry of jesus luke chapter 6 i study the gospels a lot because the ministry of jesus inspires me He's the greatest model that I have and I like to I like to study his idea what did he do what was captured in his ministry Luke chapter 6 and verse 17 to 19 Luke chapter 6 verse 17 to 19 this is Jesus now having the sermon on the mount okay I'll just read it from here and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of the disciples a great multitude of people listen out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear now listen carefully the people came to hear amplified says to listen to him 
He came to hear him and to be healed. There is a relationship between hearing and being healed. They didn't just come to be healed. They came to hear and to be healed. Verse 18. Or still verse 17. To be healed of all their diseases. 18. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits. So we see the kind of people that came for Jesus' meetings. Those who were sick. They were sick. Terribly diseased. They came to listen to him. There was something he taught them about listening to his words. And the healing power of God. So they came to hear and to be healed. The second category of people we see, they that were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed. Unclean spirits. The source of their pain and their discomfort were the presence of unclean spirits. And the Bible says, and the whole multitude, listen, sought to touch him. Why? For there went power out of him to heal them. I love the ministry of Jesus. So the Bible tells us why the people got healed. That there was power. Other versions say virtue. There was something that Jesus had that would lead him into the people. And the moment it entered them, they would discover that their sicknesses were gone. Are we together? Acts chapter 10, when you read verse 38, Peter was teaching. That was the salvation of the Gentiles in the house of Cornelius. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Listen, it says who went about doing good. Went about doing good. Went about doing good. So we see other things that Jesus did that were not captured. He didn't just heal the sick alone. He didn't just deliver the oppressed alone. He went about doing good. Breakthrough is a good thing. Restoration is a good thing. He went about doing good. And then healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Any ministry that wants to reproduce Jesus' ministry. And, and by the way, I hope you know that what we do today is an extension of his ministry. Jesus' ministry did not end with his ascension to heaven. Are we together now? He said it is expedient that I go. Why? So that the comforter will come. It is to your advantage, advantageous to you that I go. Because my transition will allow the Holy Spirit to come. Like the mantle of Elijah came on Elisha. Now that mantle that was on Jesus, the Spirit himself without measure so that we can partake of that spirit and become an extension of his ministry. We are gathered tonight as proof that the ministry of Jesus has not ended. We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still heals. Do you believe that? We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still delivers. We are gathered tonight because we believe he still does good. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as the Father had sent me, this is Jesus speaking, the Father sent me, I now send you, as the Father sent me, both in terms of the scope of the assignment and the equipping. The Father sent me with power and every time I spoke, something left me to validate what he said. He said, so also I sent you. You see, if the power of God does not back up his word, is fraud. It is the power of God that validates the truth, the potency of God's word. So at some point in this service, we should expect the power of God to find expression. Not just in people, you know, receiving impartations here and they're wonderful, but we expect the power of God to heal the sick we expect the power of God to cleanse all kinds of unclean people who are cohabiting with demon spirits that are manipulating their lives and manipulating their results at some point in this service we should see the superiority of light over darkness is that true 
at some point in this service God should be able to step over your issue to see that that 10 year long issue just dissolves like this just like that is that true if that happens then we can say with all sense of gratitude that we are an extension of the ministry of Jesus but listen to me brothers and sisters if this does not happen we are wasting God's time and we are wasting the time of God's precious people that's why we prepare for all of the meetings especially the miracle service because you have not just come to watch a man you have come to see an extension of the ministry of Jesus you have come with your requests you have come with your medical reports you have come with your pain you have come with all kinds of oppression you have come with all kinds of closed heaven and you're saying lord if you are the only one i know who can help me let me tell you your coming is faith enough did you hear what i said you're leaving your house to come is faith enough it's true like a patient goes to the hospital once you are in the hospital just leave the rest to the doctor then the doctor begins to prescribe and this is what is happening to us an extension of the ministry of Jesus let's look at one scripture Mark chapter 1 21 Mark chapter 1 and verse 21 and they went into Capernaum still the ministry of Jesus and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered the synagogue and taught it's interesting how Jesus held his crusade he would take out time not just to preach but to teach Jesus knew that teaching was the system for sustaining anything that the people were to receive are we together if the entire scope of ministry is just miracles alone it becomes volatile the people receive it and then it just evaporates but when they are taught it guides their understanding to keep that which they have received you can lose something you have received it's true you can lose healing demons can leave people and re-enter them again but when the word of god is taught it gives you the basis are we together now so jesus taught in their synagogues we're reading it's, it's a long reading let's see how far we can go just keep just continue and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue i love jesus see how his miracle service was as soon as he just finished preaching it was time to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom and there was in that service a man with an unclean spirit and the demons began to cry out 24 saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us we know who you are the holy one of god and so on and so forth and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace and come out of him this is jesus for you this is jesus for you because that man's life was obviously in shambles because there was another spirit that was cohabiting with that individual manipulating his intentions and jesus looked at him this does not reflect the kingdom and he brought that spirit out like it's going to happen to many people the forces and the spirits that are responsible for the results we do not want but keep seeing until they leave all these things are a joke when the unclean spirit had turned him he cried out in a loud voice and he came out of him 27 we're reading down to i think it was 39 or so i just want us to walk through the ministry of jesus and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do obey him let me tell you this when you command an unclean spirit and it goes it is a big deal did you hear what i said <laughs> doctors can treat sickness they can cast out devils machines can show an elongated lung or heart but it cannot show the spirit sitting there are you hearing what i'm saying these spirits are living entities they can hear they have a system and a structure they were designed to respect some people and disobey some people are we together 
they understand ranking in the spirit so when you issue a command as jesus did and these spirits are forced against their will to leave that individual and that habitation is proof of dominion are we together yes it is it truly is proof of dominion look at jesus used this the people were astonished they said our priests and rabbis didn't do this they couldn't do this i hope you know that while all the priests used to preach that man was in the temple and the spirits were hearing but the words were not potent enough to force them to leave so they kept coming service after service may you not be a man of god that cohabits with demons and that people come and sit under your anointing and under your meeting and the demons that cause poverty failure whatever it is you share the grace and they share the grace with you and you go out no sir Haba. what then is the excellency of light over darkness your presence should discomfort the gate of hell so well that there is no pretending about it that's why some of you bring people here you notice you bring them and when they sit down while praise and worship is happening they want to run away it's not them it's not them the devil knows that when you come into an environment that can bring you emancipation satan will revolt and fight and fight again and again but tonight the devil is a liar it's too late really it's too late 28 and immediately his fame spread abroad all through the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john let's see what happened and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her now jesus is healing we saw him cast out devils He's about to heal now. And he came and took her by the hand. I love Jesus. And lifted her up. And how, may, how long? Immediately. Immediately. Do you know if Jesus did not touch her, she would remain like that. And you would think it's the will of God. Don't trivialize an anointed hand. Goodness. Jesus walks in and says, I'm introducing something to this woman's body. That until the arrival of that thing, the condition does not change. That contact... The Bible says immediately the fever did what? That means the fever was a living thing. It could move. Abba, is it, are you not intelligent people? The fever left. Pastor Alpha left me. Before Jesus came, the fever was with her. They gave it all kinds of interpretation. Jesus, look at what Jesus did. He didn't talk. He just touched the Bible didn't say they shall lay hands on the sick and speak. Just by making contact alone. Are you seeing that now? Some, it was about the transference of virtue. And it forced the spirit. There was a separation. That means the discomfort you feel is because there is something with you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. That means that growth, that swelling... It's a sign that there is something with you. Ah, but the hands of Jesus extended through us. You see that? I, I'm, I'm creating expectation in you. That means that pile would never have been piled until a spirit came in partnership with your body. And just saying pile go is not what will, will make it go. There is an agency that will separate you from that pile. You will call it a miracle. There is no reason to remain sick when the spirit has been separated. Look at it. Immediately, not slowly. So the question is not whether you can be healed. The question is whether the anointing is sufficient to separate that spirit. Because when it happens, the Bible says immediately. And she was so healed, she went straight to the kitchen. Straight to the kitchen from a bed. And he came and took her by the hand and brought unto him all that were there at even when the sun did set. Like Koinonia now, they brought unto him. That means there was an information that had reached town. 
that when we bring certain people to this man, there was something about him that was able to heal them. They brought unto him all that were what? Diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. See the kind of people that came to Jesus. As a man of God, if these kinds of people are not coming to you, it's not the issue of I'm not called into this ministry. Something is wrong. Because they should discern that the hand of God upon your life should function in a pattern similar to that of Jesus and should make them bring certain people. There are, there are creative dimensions that his anointing can bring. Creation is needed when there is no possibility of having that reality again. Then you create it. Not everyone may be sick, but let me tell you something. Everyone needs the hand of God. There are some of us, our heavens are closed totally. And don't act as if it's not important. Nobody is favoring you. No open door. You are born again, but your life and your door and destiny is closed. Can you trust God to open this door for you? It's not by might. It's not by power. You heard the testimony of, of uh, Joy. She said an uncle who does not even call her. Something made that uncle call, brothers and sisters. Because that uncle also has relatives somewhere. Everybody who blesses you has someone in need around him. What makes him to leave them and come to you? No. Are we blessed? One question I'll ask you and then we'll begin to pray. Are you truly tired of the situation? You see, there's something I think I was sharing with. I can't remember who I was sharing this with. I was saying pain. It was you, Jimmy. Pain is very important. Sometimes the only way to let people see your is allow that pain. Don't stop it. Because there are people, if you have not been pushed to the wall, you will not see the need for God. For as long as there is somebody answering your prayer for you, you will not see the need to be serious. So sometimes God deliberately allows it. And that pain, the day five of your children said, Daddy, is this how we'll continue? You just get up and say, I'm coming for Koinonia today. I'm, I'm tired of this. That pain was an indication that something is wrong. And that it needs remedy fast. Pain. There are people who will never run and come to God. But you just press one side of your stomach and you just felt, ah, something is growing. What is this? Next week, the thing increased. You told a doctor, just touch it and say, ah, I don't want to tell you the name. Pain. Just say, when is that miracle service served? The power of God is real. It can produce miracles. It will produce miracles in your life tonight. Do you believe it? I expect that not only would God heal the sick, not only will he cast out devils, listen carefully, I expect that tonight, by his spirit, he will lift you out of certain captivities, lack of favor, delay. There are some of us who are trusting God to return certain things that left your life for years. Whoever told you it cannot, you heard the lady that said they stole her phone, they came with matchet. And stole her phone. I remember she sent me a text that they came to carry a matchet. Foolish thieves. They don't know that a body without a spirit is dead. The same way you have been carrying a certificate, that's the body. Where is the spirit component? That's why you drop it on a table and they throw it in a dustbin. But when the spirit component comes, let me tell you this. God never designed a man to do anything on earth unassisted. A spirit entity must assist you. Even you, if you meet a herbalist, that herbalist is not alone. There is a spirit assisting him. You see that? Yes. Don't walk through life by your strength and power. Please help them. Life will be too hard for you. Is, is the mystery of hardship. Rejecting the assistance of the spirit. I would dare not do ministry without the spirit. What else will I be doing? 
but with God with God all things without him you are on your own but when you involve him and not only involve him go a step further by letting him lead the way then your life becomes a wonder I'm showing you many of you are surprised the same surprise was in the Bible they were astonished what manner of man is this astonished and then the man if he's wise will tell you look I'm not alone Jesus said I'm not alone all these miracles you see I'm being assisted brothers and sisters the result you see in this ministry is a product of assistance the realm of the spirit is in partnership you can't be standing here and someone is shouting outside shouting at overflow no no Habba. words are not hammer but when the spirit is upon them that word will enter you like a drug and all of a sudden you will find out that certain things will go <laughs> It will work in Zaria, it will work in Lagos, it will work in London, it will work in Saudi Arabia, it will work everywhere. Are we together? Mm. The spirits that oppress us must give way. I'm, gi I'm taking out time to charge your heart like this because I want you to receive. The most important thing is not the ministrations as it were. The most important thing is creating this expectation. Many of us come and we are just hoping. Um, okay, God, I know you will bless me. In the name of Jesus, may God lift you. Amen. I just, well, it was a nice service. And you go back and nothing happens. You keep watching people come to testify. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her, not unto them, there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord. I came here full of the Holy Ghost and I came here believing with all my heart. You are sick. Get ready to be healed. Don't, don't, don't say, well, let's watch and see. Get ready to be healed. You are oppressed of the devil. You may not even know you are oppressed. You just know that nothing is working in your life. I want you to be tired and say, God, will you bring me here? So especially for those of you who came so far, Lord, will you carry me and bring me here and take me back like that? There are some of you in ministry, you came to contact fire. Lord, will you leave me? Will I leave my members, my fellowship and come back here and go back? No evidence of favor. I believe him. I believe that he's a mighty man. I believe he's awesome. I have seen his hand. I have seen his power and ladies and gentlemen I present to you the same God yesterday today forever I present to you the same healer yesterday today forever I present to you the same deliverer I present to you the one who took Joseph from the prison overnight I present to you the one who turned Saul to the apostle. I present to you the one who turned Rahab to be part of the genealogy of Jesus. I present to you your destiny changer. I present to you your destiny maker. I present to you the anointer of men. The one who puts oil upon the head of ordinary people and changes their life. I present to you the prosperer the one who can program a climate of favor over a man as though you are holding a child. I present to you the one who can give you influence, can lift you from nothing and make your life a wonder, a specimen, an epistle of his hand. That's the God I present to you. I have given a very nice speech we're about to step back and allow the king of glory ride over this place and let me watch the mountain that stands before him let me watch Zerubbabel oh no no he said who are thou mountain who are thou mountain who are thou infirmity who are thou delay who are thou stagnation before Zerubbabel he said before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain
lift your hands I want to pray the Lord is starting tonight with an impartation there is an impartation of the grace for favor this is what the Lord is telling me the grace for favor the grace I'm about to pray for favor favor is a revelation that God has given me my life is a testimony of that reality I want to pray for you now believe believe as I pray I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now father even as you have revealed to me from this main auditorium to overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online Lord I release an impartation for the grace for favor receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus I stretch my right hand and I decree and declare step into a new level of favor 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 we need favor in our lives most of the things we pray about are under the office of favor to solve i say it again in the name of jesus every challenge in your life that only the favor of god can solve i stand before the god who has helped me and has helped this ministry i release upon you an oil of favor take it now in the name of jesus take favor take favor receive favor in the name of jesus christ a strange dimension of favor favor that will surprise you favor that will accelerate your life when a life listen to me when a life has no favor it is clear the proof of lack of favor is the absence of helpers in your life not the absence of money you can have money you can have intellect you can have a job but when there are no men in your life you don't have favor the proof of favor is not the coming of money the proof of favor is the rapid response from men to attend to the issues of your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that the men that must show up in your life to validate the grace for favor I prophesy them upon you now I call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus upon your business upon your job upon your projects may men arise to help Hallelujah. There is the grace for favor. Those of you who are on the social media may have heard of a testimony that had been trending for a while. I traveled to Lagos last week and just when we got down from the aircraft on my way going, listen carefully, something is happening here. A young man just walked to me and held me and I looked at him and he said, sir, remember me. I said, well, I don't remember you. What's the story? He came here, Koinonia, with a property, his property, and carried it and gave me as a seed. I said, what for? I mean, you're a young man. What will you go and tell your wife? Brothers and sisters, from November till now, nine properties and one estate came to him. A young guy. Abba. Is it charm? what is on you is what brings things to your life it's not what you want it is what is on you in the name of jesus that anointing that must come on you 
I declare that it comes on your head right now. It comes upon your head right now. Producing strange results. It comes upon your head right now. It comes upon your head right now. Just follow me. Some of you don't know how you need favor. You know you need favor, but you don't know what extent. I can't imagine that there are human beings that live on this earth without favor. You will never be able to be happy on earth. No. I can you check let's check our lives the truth is for many of us there is no favor it's not that the helpers are not there there has to be something on you to bring them every lifting that God has brought by his grace happened in this Zaria not London Zaria here many of us live unrewarded lives because there is nothing on you drawing men to bless you nobody thinks about you God does not talk to anybody about you a gentleman I think one of these uh, I can't remember one of these Fridays and he stood to see me after the service and he said man of God my life is hard can you help me with some money and I looked at him I said you are not a wise gentleman I know you need money now but you should ask yourself the person giving you the money where did it come from the wiser prayer is for favor i said let's do an experiment i told him i said i will pray for you for favor return next friday and tell me what happened if nothing happens i will give you money agreed he said yes and i prayed for him and he went brothers and sisters on monday monday that's the monday after that gentleman sent me a text and he said his uncle that he's even fighting with their father that he did a very serious transfer and told him that who helps you in school and he said nobody he said so why have you not been reaching me all of you these proud children and so on and so forth that he was going to start sending him money i said you you believe that that uncle just did it by his will listen this world is too wicked for somebody to just like you that's flattery this wicked world where a man can slaughter a child's head then what makes you believe they will just like you enough to see that you rise it takes favor can I pray that prayer for you again in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God you have done your best you have done your efforts you have struggled it's almost killing you now receive the grace for favor receive the grace for favor may your life change by favor receive the grace for favor hallelujah it is favor that brings resources it is favor that brings opportunity there are many gifted people there's no one to reward them there are many nice people many wonderful musicians nobody to place a demand on their grace it's so annoying when you see someone you are better than but he has favor and you don't and yet you have to say yes sir her man did not think Mordecai was good enough but favor and he said everywhere you see the chariots of Mordecai bow the knee Mordecai is passing yes a gatekeeper you may not like a person, but when favor is on them, it will veto whatever you think. I pray for you again. Every door that must open in this season to validate favor, I command it to be open now. I command it to be open now. Listen. You're not going to build a house by savings let me tell you the truth it's not in today's Nigeria you're not going to buy a car by saving no I practice all these things you're not going to to settle and train your children just by saving money you will need a grace that can accelerate your results otherwise you will never be a giver you will never 
you can't be a giver just by saving peanuts 10 naira and 100 naira when there is a demand life will demand so much from you that if you are not operating under favor you will be frustrated and that's how satan wants to trap men he would trap you and make your life miserable let's release this favor on our families you have received it for yourself but let it get to your family i pray for you in the name of jesus christ my father every family that is represented here by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be a release of favor let there be a release of favor favor on every family favor on every family listen sometimes eh it is not warfare that destroys it is even how favor works favor can kill to make sure that one person rises some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make ghosts and say for as long as we are there you must route your success through us if you attempt to rise without us you will not rise i declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be god in that family hallelujah favor in one minute i want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak lift your voice begin to pray begin to pray participate lord i release favor concerning this job pray i release favor i release favor favor concerning my building project Like a shield, you surround us with favor like a shield. Pray, make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Favor like a shield. Favor in my academics, pray. Favor over my job. Lord, favor, favor, favor. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth. You see, Ba, this prayer you are praying, if this prayer is truly answered in your life, this is how you will stand. What is this? This favor prayer you see, there are people who have touched up this favor. They can tell you, favor is fearful in its operation. of Saul that I may show him kindness and they carry the crippled man I don't deserve the palace he says still come and the king said you will sit here and eat with me let me tell you how you know it is favor listen favor is not one time when somebody just says hey, Jimmy, I want to give you water what that's just goodness favor is I want to keep blessing you I want to continue doing this many of us what happens is that we're mistaking goodness for favor someone just appear once and just says look i want to help you and it never happens again when it is favor a process is ignited it keeps following like that it's true study the things in your life you'll be able to separate goodness from favor there are things that just happen one time but favor favor continues so I'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because the Lord wants to bless the works of our hands listen whether you are on a job or whatever it is you see these hands you see they are it's a mystery it says the 
the hand of God it was with this hand God made man are we together now this hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you I want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because for many of us who are getting results but our results are too small I stretch these hands the fire that the Lord put upon this hand in the name of Jesus I release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in I release I stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does God do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does God open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from Satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things you never will truly be able to seek God when certain things have not been solved in your life it's true you can't give God your best when you are still thinking of what to eat you are thinking of what to wear but when God takes those things away your prayer life becomes worship not just hours of petition in the flesh hallelujah hallelujah overflow two there's someone the anointing of the spirit is coming on someone overflow two the overflow by the roadside bring the lady hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done overflow to the overflow by the road please quickly we have to hurry up thy kingdom come thy will be done Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. Hello, him There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hello, him Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. The Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using. In the name of Jesus, especially for this lady, I command it so now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord, but there's, it's, like, it's like a trap. You just cannot move and make progress. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. As I pray for you, madam, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I release this woman the devil has put something in this lady's stomach this lady you are holding I command in the name of Jesus remove that evil you have put now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to pray and I'm already seeing a vision of what will happen there will be such a massive 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 deliverance now let it not surprise you I've explained to you what this thing is it's a separation you should rejoice when it happens because it means that you are entering a new season a new season a new season a new season
as you count three, as you count Jesus, at the count of three, let there be deliverance. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Witchcraft, manipulations of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I command a separation through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. I decree, I set it as an ordinance in the spirit. I announce liberty, liberty, bring them out. I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there is any family that has been covenanted to any elements of the supernatural, whether the earth, whether fire, that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three, I command those ordinances set on fire. One, two, three. Let there be liberation right now. Every family covenanted to the waters, covenanted to the air, to trees. I set you free now. a map and I'm seeing or your state or your state this is the hand of God the sword of the spirit going to or your state bringing deliverance there are times that God moves this way in the name of Jesus I command whoever is from that region may the power of God begin to touch you now may the power of God begin to touch you now complete liberty complete liberty Overflow three, please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow three. Don't worry, you you that you you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow three. Just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of three, overflow three. I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing, and the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough massive deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus overflow three are you ready I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you right now in the name of Jesus everyone under any kind of oppression at the count of three shout Jesus one two three Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, I want to pray. The Lord is showing me something that is very interesting. The Lord wants to break cycles. There are people, every season, certain things happen. Every September, somebody must die. Every three, three years, somebody married must divorce. 
in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. You don't have to ask whether or not you are involved. Don't worry, the anointing will look for you. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, the power that activates cycles, demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns and events keep repeating themselves. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Call that lady back. That lady. Lift your hands, my dear. God is not done with you. I look at you and I see oppression. There is something that the devil has put in you. If I don't pray for you, very soon they will start telling you, you will start feeling pain. They will say fibroid. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I command that devil, let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every cycle over anyone's life. Are you ready to shout Jesus now? At the count of three to surprise you what God will do. One. Two. Get ready. Three. The chain of circles. Be broken. Cycles. Cycles of failure. Cycles of miscarriages. Cycles of unfruitfulness. By the sound of the spirit. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Be broken now. I want to pray. Um, please, this man. I don't know who the, this man. Yes. Please, quickly. We are soon going to pray for the sick. I may not have time to prophesy to individuals. I'm standing near this lady and I'm seeing a snake. This is what I see in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil. I'm not seeing a human being. I'm seeing a snake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Overflow one. I'm seeing the power of God. This I just mentioned snake. And I was seeing serpents. Just moving at overflow one. Right now I'm seeing it's like a sword. Dividing those snakes. That's what I'm seeing. It's happening to people at overflow one. In the name of Jesus. Let it be over now. Snakes and scorpions. The mystery. The mystery of snakes and scorpions. He said I give you authority. Over snakes and scorpions. And all the powers of the enemy. Sir I want to pray for you. I don't know whether you came here for us. Here, you have been but, coming here uh, but i was tra i traveled before that so i have not been coming i want to pray for you yes sir if i don't pray for you the devil is going to kill you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin they have already closed you i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you you love jesus be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you huh yes, uh, is that true yes sir Looking at you and I'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you. Yes, sir. That thing is a charm. Yes, sir. It's not half it's charm. Yes. Native yes. doctor. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, That's sir. what will even kill you. Yes, sir. It's not going to solve your problem. Yes, sir. The people doing it are well meaning. Yes, sir. But the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it. Yes, sir. And you violate it will destroy you. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, you have you have taken something in your system now that we even destroy you listen let me tell you when you are pressed we are humans and we can be pressed to the world going to the devil to get a charm is is you are facilitating your destruction if satan gives you tea here he will hold a knife and stab you at the back father by the mercy of god i pray for this man let him not die in the name of jesus i close the gate of the grave over your life in the name of Jesus both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms in the name of Jesus we scatter that shrine into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you sir the Lord perfects you in Jesus name I pray something is leaving this lady oh dear she's vomiting I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something Agnes God is not done with that guy or that young man with blue
please if you are not Agnes don't come here please your name is Agnes where are you from I need to pray for you I'm seeing an attack on your life this attack is coming from Calabar huh are you hearing what I'm saying yes, I have to pray for you where are you from Cross River you are from Cross River yes sir Come. I must pray for you Kai there is somebody the Lord is setting the person free I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person. You are here now. In the name that is above all names. I'm serious. Don't think I'm just hyping you. In the name of Jesus, whoever's name has been written by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist, in the name of Jesus, because that person you keep seeing death dead people you even saw yourself in a coffin in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit now I'm going to pray for you and then we're going to pray for the sick right now ah. there is some serious deliverance I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit this is this is this is a serious Father, let this lady be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you, this lady, come. You love Jesus? Huh? Yes, sir. Come. You, I, I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself. Huh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you. Eh? I love you. And that's why I'm telling you this. You need, you need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful because it's God that saved you now. I'm seeing something, a virus. Anyway. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for your daughter. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree. And that tree is this lady. And something that was planted. And the Lord is saying, uproot it. I uproot this thing now in the name of Jesus Christ I uproot it now the spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway state I've never been there physically but I'm seeing Benway Benway and I'm looking and I'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down it's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees in the name of Jesus Christ if there is any family involved in this Sheketos Kotopakariakata I command an uprooting every tree that has not been planted help them by my father every tree I see Benway state in the mighty name of Jesus let there be an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting in the name of Jesus Let me pray for you, my dear. You are a nice lady, but there's bad luck in your life. Very bad luck. And the Lord wants to help you. Father, help your daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bad luck be gone. Now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help you. Come, my dear. Let me pray for you. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. There are some, my spirit is heavy to prophesy, but because we have to, I want us to pray for the sick so that I can just make those declarations. We may not have time for one on one prophecy, but I'm telling you, God wants to touch, touch a lot of people. My dear, I want to pray for you in Jesus' name. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your family. 
rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of Jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what I'm praying for you for I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the Lord is saying I should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me I prophesy it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is this who Agnes Agnes where is she Abuja. Abuja, sir. your sister yes father in the name of Jesus I pray for this lady where is she Abuja, sir. she loves Jesus Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her. Eh? In the name of, is she married? Huh? In no. the name of uh, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God help you. Mama, come, let me pray for you. It's your season of breakthrough. Come. Is this your child? Come. Boy, come. I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing that God is going to use him. This is a small boy. Boy, how are you? The, the boy doesn't even know. But I'm going to pray for him. Samuel did not know that he would become a great prophet one day. When Eli, he was just an innocent boy. I'm going to pray for him. Mama, please stand up. I will pray for you. Look at me, ma. Please don't be embarrassed. But the Lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life. This thing they call in house, Wahala. God wants to take it from your life. You are a very sincere woman that loves the Lord, but this this cause of hardship um this woman loves the lord with all her heart father you what's what's the name of this boy Riba, huh? lifted okay. your name is lifted yes father i lay hands on lifted in the name of jesus christ use him mightily we are all products of your grace lift him and use him mightily in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you this. The month of April is your month of strange breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. The month of April is your month of breakthrough. Azuka, come. Lift the camera first. Let me pray for you and then you keep the camera. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a big project coming for you. And this project is going to lift you. This is something that has to do with your snapshot. But God is bringing someone. It's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men that will lift you i command it so i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ open doors for you open doors for you in the name of jesus christ come this lady um sarah come there is witchcraft in your family i have to pray for you this thing is affecting everybody in the family everybody everybody not there's no exception everybody lord take away this plague of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ wonderful people beautiful ladies but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell in the name of jesus christ i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser in the name of jesus christ we are going to pray for the sick now. Listen, I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting God for healing and miracle. Let me pray for this lady. How many of you have your prayer request? Now lift it up, ushers, your prayer request. Those online, make sure we collect it. This, this lady, let me have her hands. Lord Jesus, let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold her gently she'll be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves 
make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please we'll be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping let your heart be open are we together number two accept whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because i'm, I'm literally sensing as if i want to throw up is the spirit of prophecy there's there's something that the lord is putting in my spirit to release and that's why i want to pray for the sick quickly so that we'll pray this prophecy if we do this i'm satisfied in this service we have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time hallelujah jesus someone please help with collecting the request make sure that even those at the extremes of the road their requests are collected please everybody father in the name of jesus we pray by the ministry of the spirit several people serving as contact points but we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick lord your people have come some of them with incurable diseases some of them with all kinds of devils i decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people pray spiritualize yourself make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying thank you jesus my beautifier you have taken away the shame taken away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make me just like you my beautifier
a walker, don't be skeeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit stretch your hands here begin to pray in the spirit of jargons on the walls and the room of their houses and they are not satisfying the scriptural conditions to be, become these things and we read a lot of books that say sit down wake up in the night just look at it let it enter your subconscious be careful there is a balanced view about the power of imagination and there is an erroneous occultic new age metaphysics understanding that is leading people into derision are you getting my point now faith is action everybody say it listen if you have not yet taken action you have not manifested faith 
I don't care what else you have done. Listen, please. If you get this revelation, many of you, as this word is coming, you will walk out of your sick body at once because of the power of this revelation. I will show you from scripture. Help us, Holy Spirit. Which word is correct now? Wow, I have to rush. There is no faith without action. Impossible. There is no faith without action. Hallelujah. I always give an example. Um, let me use somebody. Mike, come. I'm going to call this gentleman. Please, everybody concentrate. When I call you, say you are coming, but don't come. Mike, come. What did I ask him to do? He's saying he's coming. Did he come? Mike, come and take. If you can live where you are and come here by reason of your trust, take. This is what a lot of believers are doing. We start dreaming nonsense, thinking we are manifesting faith. There are conditions. God is saying, fulfill that condition and take. We are busy standing and saying, oh, I know. I just know. I know it will happen. It doesn't happen that way. Bless you, sir. Everybody say faith is the action taken based on my conviction of God's word, his love for me, his integrity, and his ability. That action is what the Bible calls faith. Are you getting something tonight? This is an eye-opener for many people because you will see that what a lot of us are calling believe, believe, believe is not true. We are not manifesting faith. Faith, the faith life does not make you an idiot. We have turned this faith thing to become as if we are foolish people. Read your Bible. Those who walk in authentic realms of faith did not behave the way we are behaving. Hallelujah. Let me show you a few scriptures. Matthew chapter 9, if you can help us very quickly, media. Matthew chapter 9, from verse 18 to 22. Remember the woman with the issue of blood. Just write it and look up. Matthew 9, from verse 18. Hallelujah. Uh, let's just go to 19. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. Verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood. How many years? Twelve years. Came behind him and did what? She did what? She came and took action. Is that true? She did something based on a conviction that she had. What was the conviction? 21. For she said within herself. That's where many of us stop. Is that not true? oh i know if jesus passes here if i may but touch his garment while she said that she was waiting when she saw jesus she said crowd protocol fire this night the bible says as she touched it do you know if she did not touch him that's how she would have remained like that is that true and that will make jesus look as though he was not powerful see in action is the missing component in our faith equation we do every other thing but take steps as simple as what i'm telling you is is the reason why many people will never be delivered many people will never be healed many people may never experience the blessings of god another story john 5 from verse 5 to 9 remember the important man very interesting story john 5 jesus always demanded action john 5 and a certain man was there which had infirmity how many years 30 and 8 years is that true look at me he never got healed because he did not take action is that true verse 6 we have to run and jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 the important man started giving all kinds of explanations verse 8 like many of us are giving 
and jesus said unto him look at me how can jesus tell a man who has been lying down for 38 years who cannot move he said rise take in other words prove your conviction by doing something you have never done 38 years jesus is not an idiot he sees a man lying down just to move to a pool close to him he could not move for 38 years now jesus says you claim you trust me if you believe i'm the messiah stop giving me that grammar rise up in the moment you take the action the power of god comes in it does not take a long time this is faith the action you take based on your conviction let's look at a few more mark 2 mark 2 mark 2 verse 1 to 12 but let's just look at verse 4 mark 2 verse 4 we have to hurry up this is already the miracle mark 2 verse 4 listen when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof look at me jesus was holding a crusade is that true is that true those sitting outside say amen so the bible says there were people packed full inside and outside like this is that true and jesus was teaching and certain people were desperate and they said today you have been a liability to us you must stand up we are not ready to take you back home and the bible says when they came they saw the crowd the people said the owner of this house will negotiate after the miracle but for now they got do you know what it means jewish do you know how jewish houses were made they were made with mud you would have to break through look at what the bible says they uncovered the roof that was and when they had what they broke it jesus was just sitting down and he had some people hitting i'm sure others were saying don't disturb or say keep talking i will keep manifesting faith when i get what i want i can tell you sorry the, listen 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 the bible says wherein the sick of palsy lay i want to show you something that will shock you now next verse please ay, 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 ay. when jesus saw what what was their faith their action their action that that step they took based on their conviction the bible says faith can be seen it's not some metaphysical thing i can know whether you have faith by the degree of your adherence to the principles i can see it and know whether your faith is working you you can't fool us and say i have faith if you have faith see james said show me show me your your works without faith and i will show you my faith through the action that i'm taking What does that mean? That you came here with cancer. Do you believe the Lord will heal you? Yes, I believe that's why I came. That's good step one. When the word of God comes, that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say, cancer, you had the prophetic word. Shake it off. Don't just sit down. You're wondering. No. Two more scriptures quickly. Luke 17. This is an interesting one. The story of the ten lepers. Verse 11. Let me show you the dynamics. The spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous. I pray that your eyes will be open to see. Verse 13. Please let's hurry up. Listen. The Bible says there were ten lepers. Who have been discussing is this how we will continue abby people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what the Bible did not say they lifted it and just, they just whispered. To lift up means they shouted. And they said, Jesus, Master. You know Jesus doesn't walk alone. I'm sure his peers were saying, hurry up. They said, we may be crippled, but our mouth is not crippled. We are going to shout till we get your attention. Listen. 
did Jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi I love Jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think I can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if I said this then this should grammar that thing we do is not called faith if you take action God is committed Listen, the Bible says, and it came to pass. Watch this. As they, this is the dynamics. Listen, I want to explain something powerful here. As they, they were, that means their being cleansed was tied to their going. As they, they were, this sign shall not go before. If you prove God sent you, start moving. And he said, the signs, the signs, will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came Look at me. There are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church. Do you know that there are people that when they come, when hands are about to be laid on them, they say, don't lay hands on me, just speak. You are a sick patient. The doctor said, turn for injection. You say, I don't like injection. Walk out of the hospital. As simple as that. When there's a way the sickness will press you, that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow, you say, just give me. When you still have options you are not yet pushed to the wall look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the wall that you must react are you getting my point but seven are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9 listen look up please let me just tell the story quickly remember the man who was born blind the bible says jesus spat on the floor correct and he started making clay i can imagine the well, the man could not see him. now watch this Hiya, i love jesus jesus inspires me i'm telling you he said unto him to who the blind man jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand he spoke to the blind man he said oh god go wash in the pool of siloam which by interpretation is sent and the bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned see how will jesus speak to a blind man oh yeah i've done my own part if you like sit down here for one week if you are interested go and wash remember what the prophet told naaman he said go to jordan and bath while he was giving all those confessions i will not go i will go i will not go he said continue if you want to manifest faith carry two of your legs march to jordan he was saying are there no other river this is many people think it just stops at talking 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 naman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there was a very muddy water hallelujah bathed the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the holy ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in listen the bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out 
and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the holy ghost was moving peter get this man to take a step In every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time I would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in Samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of God was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen I submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point I said by with all humility I hope it doesn't look like I'm bragging I'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marrying you how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find her paper but God said am I too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part I'm telling you 
in an inexplainable way God is committed and tonight I want you to know that your part is to have come see I tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50% of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you said i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. Change stories tonight. I have come tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been the head of department prayer band. He even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text hallelujah when the holy ghost is in a place nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell hallelujah inside and outside no matter how far you are make sure tonight as you hear the word listen i don't know the issue that you came here with i can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god has showed me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please when we begin to pray i don't know if we we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do make sure remember the teaching you must take action you must take action that action look at what our mommy shared 
Remember the, the, the testimony our mommy shared. Do you know that we brought, I sent that they should bring a seat for her. What? She refused. As a proof to the devil. Are you getting my point? That, that I may be old, but I'm well. Are you ready to drop those chains now? There is no need. Please hear me. There is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation. For there is a name. There are families represented here tonight. Tonight you will pass the Red Sea and you will part with Egypt forever. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Higher. It's time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages, yokes. There are many of us who have come under spells. It's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people. Because the Bible says, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. I tell you, if you see what the Lord is showing me in the spirit, goodness, the devil is in trouble this night. Lift your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. Please lift your hands inside and outside. hallelujah hear me wherever you are the power of god is going to begin to move across the crowd and everywhere you are there is a name tonight that is above every demon every yoke every spell and at the mention of that name devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one, two, three. Hoshaketetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
please if they need more people help them let's save time let's save time we don't have time please the power of god is falling outside falling outside falling outside every spell hallelujah just those outside lift your hands the first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. Hey. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, there will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Ha praise kabala da da da. Out. Ha reta katale da ba. Hallelujah. Now listen, please, please. Let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Ha praise de gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second day. In Terekaba, let her go now by the fire of the holy ghost i challenge you right now in the name of jesus break every chain out of her now now Come out of her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. 
Listen, listen. Many of you don't know why. Listen. Hear me. Please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch just... No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now one brother will just get up and come you don't know where you are i'm not talking about her now please nobody should stigmatize her are you getting my point one brother just comes and bounces you don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life you come and enter into something that will weep out look at she cannot even go out look at she's standing at the door she can't even cross the door she will go on her knees don't worry you will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirits. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral causes go 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 Serpents, scorpions, marine spirits, out, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Fire is burning in this place. For all these people outside, I'm speaking to the spirits now. At the count of three, the fire of God burns you out of these people. Every spirit, hear my voice. I speak from the realm of the spirit right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling. Falling, yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she back it, take it I give the chains. Zeko Pedi Yashakata. I give the chains. Now, listen. Listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly. Please, let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Heal. 
Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. You literally feel like an object, like a snake, moving around, especially when you're on your bed. Who is that person? The Lord is revealing to me. Please, quickly, let's save time. Once I mention your case, just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside, let's just hurry up very quickly. We don't have time. Goodness, help us, Lord. The devil is in trouble tonight. <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please For about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now I'm even... up till now even now as you are talking Watch it disappear now. Watch it disappear. You, you are an elderly man. You get my point. So you will not come and be lying when it's not done. But you watch and see what the power of God will do. Because they scanned it medically. Goodness, please let me do something quickly. I see this lady wearing a crown. Let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on her. Anybody, lay your hands Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. Alright, lay your hands. Lay your hands, lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain there? It's going. It's going right. Look at him smiling. It's going right. Now check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Yes, so Check it. 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 These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. 
anytime listen anytime you scan you see the doctors checking checking and they tell you we don't know what is wrong save yourself headache just come for prayers quick because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of god see, this is the finger of satan Three years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In, in Jesus' name. Now, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. Everything. When everything, when everything disappears, that's how God looks. Look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow, look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That's been the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. Go! No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. You, wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because it's a, sometimes you sit... Do you have any feeling? Maybe you are not yourself. You have those. Yes, sir. You have those kind of feelings. Sometimes you feel as if you don't even. It's like you don't know. Yes. This is madness. This thing would have come upon you last year. It was because of the hand of God, and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you. But tonight God will deliver you. You believe me? We have to pray for you because I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. Tied. God is touching someone there. Bring the lady. Let hope rise. I command that madness. Go! Right now. I see. Look at what is happening to him. Look at, look at this. Look at this. How can somebody just start scratching his head because I said go? This is madness. The devil wanted to put up. Go, 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 go. Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now, all of you, lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. You must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine. A shrine catching fire. Every shrine. Every devil's shrine. Where your name and that of your family member has been taken to. It catches fire now. It catches fire now.
Hallelujah. Goodness. God is going to do a fantastic miracle outside. I'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside. God is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth. Please check it. If you confirm you are the one, don't tell us lies here. Please confirm it and come out. God is, God is filling holes. Holes. Literally, literally to close up. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, God wants to do a number of things. Irregular menstruation. God is going to heal a lot of these things. And then lump. Lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please. Just line up Usher's protocol. Help us arrange them, please. Please be very orderly. No fighting. Let's hurry up. While that is happening, how many of you have not written your prayer requests? Please write it quickly, quickly. Write it quickly and let's have it. You came specifically, whether within Zaria or outside Zaria, you came specifically for healing. hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of the whole world
Tyrod. Doctors. Okay. Okay. Brain problem. Because of the thyroid. What in the world is thyroid? Okay, but it affects him many. Okay. But but we're going to pray. That is a you came here and the Lord Jesus is going to visit you right now. We don't fake what you see here. There is a name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you, brothers and sisters. There is an anointing. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. I am serving the living God. Out! His Out! Name Out! Is Jesus Out! Christ. I see him die. This is what I see. He dies and he rose and he gave me victory. I am victory. I am serving. I am serving the living God. legs goodness since when ten years ten years how do are you a witness is you that brought what what how do how does it shift she will fall and can hold on look at me look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus look at me look at me just look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus Nikab, I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit no shifting for you again from today I bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out now I command your ligaments I command everything like Ezekiel 37 to be back 
Walk. What do you feel? What do you feel? Look at come up. Her ligaments for 10 years. She she falls down by herself. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Look at this. Her kneecap used to shift. Her kneecap used to shift. You are come, come, come up. Who are you to? Who are you to her? Family friends. You are what? Family friends. You know her. You know that this is true. Sister, look at look at the girl crying. Could she do this before? She couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the, you see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. They what? They initiated him into what? They gave him food. Then you be seeing spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you, if he tell you, you be surprised. Oh, they initiated him. That devil is a liar. Bring him up. Uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry. Hmm. She's your daughter. It's okay. See, mommy, look, let me tell you. Including you, God will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That are carrying him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. Hallelujah. Telling them that this water is blood. If they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very functional. And mommy, listen. It's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. Keep in the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. He used to steal. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. It was 11 in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that even I myself have seen a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not turn back to look at me. The, the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkness dwells in your holy. at me he speaks english he speaks english say after me jesus jesus i love you i love you from today from today i set myself free i set myself by the power of the blood by the power of the blood. from any covenant from any covenant and any initiation any initiation from today i belong to jesus 
I belong to you. Satan. Satan. Pack your load. Pack your load. And go. And go. I have no business. I have no business. With you. With you. I declare. I declare. That I am for Jesus. I am for Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out! This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's all. It's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing as I'm praying for him? It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's it. As he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He said he will kill this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen, it's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free, I set that lady free now. Leave her alone. No, no, no. I'm not talking to you people. I'm speaking to the spirit. Go! Now! How can it know that I'm talking? Am I not talking to everybody here? Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snakes, even they will... Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? This is your own because... We need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. Ah, uh -uh, is that why you're holding her? Just leave her alone. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. Don't worry, don't worry. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. It's alright. Mommy, you are free. You and your family, salvation comes to you this night. In Jesus' name. She's okay, she's free. Please, while this is happening, start passing your prayer request. Inside, outside, please quickly start passing your prayer request. If you've not written it, write it. When we are prophesying, you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect. Or if you have whatever point of contact, no problem, it's scriptural. Sometimes he will pick a knife that he wants to kill. His See another episode here. What? He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother. He will pick a knife that he wants to kill him. My brother, how are you? Well done. You love Jesus. You wait now. He's not the one. Look at me. Look at me. We give people here, among other things, spiritual intelligence. You understand? No man can just get up. Please, while you're listening, be passing your prayer request. God answers prayers in miraculous ways here. Yes. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So, he's, he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. You'll be delivered right now, alright? He carried knife to kill who? His elder brother. Why? Just like that. I was in school, they called me. They had to lock him. They released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother 
so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the Let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to SS and we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go. In the name of Jesus. As you're guarding the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much.
Come and help me, please. Some of you can see move, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's go, don't worry. Cause he the rain is falling. I hear the rain, and I'm not ashamed, not afraid, and I'm not afraid. Out. Jesus. Just look at me. What's the problem? 
no problem. We don't have all. She has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for the explanation. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. In Jesus' name. Go! Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do, but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i'd like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus Some of the requests look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For we are celebrating the miracles, the successes in the name of Jesus. None will go unanswered in the name of Jesus. 
unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly we present this request in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name hallelujah give Jesus a shout of praise please stand up everybody inside and outside Hallelujah. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please, please believe and return with mighty testimonies. We don't have all the time to do the things we want to do. But we want to challenge thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Listen, and the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called them, that's what they became. Whatsoever Adam called them. The Bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them. And he told Job, Hast thou commanded thy morning? We're about to speak. Prophecy is very powerful, brothers and sisters. This is the moment where everyone can participate, including your loved ones who are not here. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease in this place, everything called terminal disease, everything called terminal disease, in the name that is above all names, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that sickness leaves your body now. 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 Every SS an AS genotype right now the Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place my God let SS and AS change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now with medical proof change to AA now every HIV in this place anyone with any deadly virus HIV cancer diabetes in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now with medical proof be healed now I command your spirit responsible go go in the name of Jesus everything that has tied your progress everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name i lose you from it now i lose you from it now i lose you from those chains now now anyone here trusting god for a job both for you and your loved ones. Hey, brother, take ba, 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 ba. We release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here things you should have accomplished something has pulled you down there are levels you would have been right now i command right now according to the anointing of the spirit upon my life let there be acceleration now acceleration now acceleration now I challenge the powers 
that hold you down let them go i challenge the forces i challenge the altar i challenge the act of witchcraft i release you now anyone's marital destiny hear me for you and for your loved ones anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down whether you are married or not there are people who are married it's like they are not married there are others that should marry and there are powers that have said you will not get married this night cap by the fire of the holy ghost i open up marital doors I open up marital doors. God protect the day. I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. Thank you, Jesus. I pray everything responsible for inexperienced academic failure you are doing your best you write exams the result comes out and you know it's not your own I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own I take it out of your life whatever result that is not your own I take it out in the name of Jesus I command corrections I command adjustment in the name of Jesus. For those who have been victimized by any lecturer, you are supposed to get A. They gave you E. I command, let there be a restoration. That restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low sperm count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. All the ladies here that are going to every devil called painful menstruation or irregular menstruation i don't want to know what the name is i don't care how long it has been from this night i challenge the altars responsible be free, be free, be free. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances in the name that is above all names. In 2014, we prophesy, let doors beyond your imagination we open them now now financial doors financial opportunities every yoke every curse every spell that brings poverty despite your giving i curse it now I pray every dead spiritual life in this place there are some of you you came here as a matter of life and death I command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as I speak I fire it back in the name of Jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now 
let the spirit of revelation come upon you now come upon you now that anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life many of you don't understand i want to activate something in your life i pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason i pray as surely as the lord god of israel lives, may that man to hit you now may it come upon your life I pray for your family members whatever the devil said they will not get this year whatever project building project house project whatever has tied your family i prophesy lord god of heaven let there be a rain of testimony rain of testimony whatever you have lost and whatever your family members have lost some of you have lost relationships some of you opportunities let there be a restoration now a restoration now hallelujah and i pray that that presence of god that goes with a man i pray for every ministry represented here every ministry that is represented here i command begin to move in strange levels of unction strange levels of wisdom strange levels of revelation i release angelic encounters i release prophetic encounters in the name of jesus now lift your hands i want to activate the gift of the spirit we have a few minutes very very few but lift your hands hallelujah i'm just going to prophesy many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts there are some of you that need activation right now in the name of jesus take it now take it now take it now take it 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 Take it, gift of prophecy. Take it, gift of healing. Take it, inside and outside. Receive it, healing anointing. Miracle working anointing. Prophetic anointing. Apostolic anointing. Entrepreneurial anointing. Take it, take it. Leadership mantle. Take it. Prophetic revelation. Take it. Take it. I command your eyes to be open. May you see what others don't see. Anyone marked for death in this place? Anyone marked? in the spirit realm for death in the name of the lord jesus i cause that spirit now 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 spirit of death go 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 next week with dramatic testimonies whatever you wrote here as your prayer request i prophesy according to the anointing in the name of jesus may your hand receive it may you walk in it hallelujah listen to me Keep standing. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Inside and outside. There are many people that need the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you have seen the works of the kingdom right now i want to give you an opportunity there may be a number of you who have never made a decision for jesus especially many of you outside some of you were invited for the first time there are some of you who have given your heart to the lord but for some reason you found yourself derailing now is the time to call you back home no one condemns you but we're giving you an opportunity i'm going to count one to five no matter how far you are please don't let anybody stop you the name of the lord is a strong tower one start running now please leave your seat and come out two outside don't let anybody stop you find your way to the front no matter how far quickly 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 god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming coin only appreciate them they are coming don't let the devil stop you don't let your friends stop you this is the beginning of a great journey young and old everyone you are invited you're most welcome god bless you hallelujah look at me thank you very much for this bold decision god bless you as you come keep coming hallelujah even if you are still outside as god is speaking to you come don't let anybody um stop you from receiving this great blessing hallelujah thank you so much it's my pleasure to lead you to the lord jesus christ this is an experience that you will never recover from hallelujah the lord desires to use you he desires to make a mighty tool out of you and that you spend eternity with him i'd like you to lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a real experience you are talking to a real person say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i confess that i cannot help myself tonight i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins i receive remission right now i invite jesus to come into my heart be the lord of my life save me cleanse me wash me holy spirit come and live in me do wonders through my life from today i make progress never to return to my past i'm free of every guilt i'm free of every condemnation in the name of the lord jesus christ now let me pray for you father thank you for these ones every wicked spirit that keeps them in sin i curse it now i declare that this decision they have made will be authentic make mighty men and women out of them i curse every spirit every foul devil that is responsible for keeping you in any state of life you do not want in the name of jesus i set you free and i declare that from today you are making spiritual progress in jesus name god bless you congratulations welcome to the biggest family please i'd like you to follow the ushers the gentlemen waving their hands to you the welcome to our dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.